Roswell Flight Test Crew here today at the Drones Data X Conference in San Francisco. And I'm speaking with Ryan Crow from Alta Devices. How are you doing, Ryan? Good. How are you doing today? I'm very well. You guys are a solar manufacturer, but this is a drone show. What's a solar company doing at a drone show? So we actually find that drones are our biggest market. As a solar power company, we build very thin, flexible, lightweight, and the highest efficiency solar material in the world, which is perfect for extending flight endurance for unmanned systems. When we've been flying drones, people in public, it's strange, one of the most common questions we get is, when people understand they're battery powered, why don't you put solar cells on them? But I didn't think solar cells could have enough kick to really appreciably affect flight time. Well, it's been an issue in the past. A lot of solar cells that are flexible tend to be very low efficiency, and then the ones that are high efficiency are very rigid and heavy. And so we bring the best of both worlds together. We're both light and flexible and thin and extremely high efficiency. And when you say high efficiency, how high efficiency are you? So we're actually the world record holder in efficiency. Our single junction material is 28.8% efficient and our dual junction is 31.6% efficient. And that's good in solar world? That's very good in solar world. That sounds great, but of course drones sometimes need to fly when it's cloudy outside. Does that negate the effectiveness? No, you still get power even when it's cloudy. Uh, we actually operate well into the infrared spectrum. Uh, it's actually our best light capture spectrum, so you'll still get power even when the clouds are out. Wow, impressive stuff. And I do have to say, I mean, look at this. <laughs> so you just put this on the wings? Just put it on the wings, tie it into your electrical system, and fly away. Very good, very good. What kind of aircraft are you using this on, and what sort of results are you getting? Uh, so, uh, you know, primary UAV market is fixed wing UAVs. Uh, they've got a lot of wing space, so you can put a lot of solar on it. Our best example is the Air Environment Puma, where normal flight time, two to three hours, we put solar on the wings, and they flew for over nine hours. Wow. All right. So, I guess solar is the future for drones. We think so. So what market are you going after with this technology? Uh, really, you know, fixed wing UAVs, uh, anybody who needs to fly for a long time, but we're branching out into every market. Internet of Things, you know, eventually the automotive industry, and everywhere you can use mobile power. Ryan, thanks so much. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> and from Drones Data X 2016 in San Francisco, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan.